Hello and welcome, my name is Nilaus and this is episode 30 of our Let's Play campaign of Factorio 0.16 Angels Mods Tutorials Let's Play series. I am building big, beautiful designs. That's what we are doing here. So, what we did last time was we built a lot of... The solder is still progressing and the uh, lead has stopped. So the solder, that's also a bit more. Each one of these is 16 solder actual solder wires so that's pretty uh, pretty good size uh, buffer we have so what i wanted to see what i saw last time was this part here so now now at this point this is moving so slowly because the co the in order for this to be used at efficiently then it has to be used at exactly the same ratio and obviously it's not being used at the same ratio uh, at this point, I could sort of wonder why I did not just make it directly into here, because this part can be made directly into coils, but not this one. This is the plus 100%. Well, this one is the plus, this plus, um, plus 50%. But if I chose both of them to be plus, no, this is also plus 100%. Then I could take these two and directly make it into the copper tin and then it would always be consumed at the same ratio anyway that's what i did so what we're going to do instead is we are going to make a pure sorting or actually cover pure sorting which will be exactly like this which take i think this is an extremely beautiful build so i want to do this the way i'm going to do it is simply just uh, straightforward copy paste i mean if you have something that works by all means continue working on it so what I have sort of done between sessions is bring in the correct materials. And now I got the hiccups. I always have the hiccups while playing. But I want to be careful about not bringing things in. So those are the three items I need in here. And they are just... Oh, look at that. Look, this cross. I love the way that they, they would work. Okay, I need to move you before you actually decide that this place is an excellent place to wreck things. Because that's the wrecker. All right, then now I hope that I have enough. This will bring us up to a lot of, a lot of what? A lot of, uh, I'll just place this one because I know it's not. So here I will be getting a lot of copper ore. So what about I take from here? The funny thing is that I have three inbound and then, or three outbound here, and then I'm expecting this to become four. Oh. Ah, this this is actually very nice. It's, I don't really like it up here. It shouldn't be up there. It doesn't belong. So, you take those three lines. Also you, my friend. All the way over here. And this is going to be produced into our placed in a blob here, I guess. No, that's like, yeah. I want to get it like straight into. One, two, three, four. Two of them here. There. Okay, that was actually pretty easy to fix. Now the next part is actually the inbound. These inbound. Come on. Look at that. No, there's no room. Ah. That's kind of not ideal. But whatever, that goes in here. This is fine. These don't need a separate buffer, but simply going in here, but only, 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 only if there is enough or there isn't enough. 
And it doesn't even need to be very much. It can just be from here. These are going to be blocked when this is over. No, it's going to be enabled when it's less than 1000. Copy, paste, paste, paste. So this one will be spawning or be feeding in here when it's unable to feed it from there, which is going to be unfortunately most of the time. So from here, I'll go over and convert all of these into oxygen. Uh, no, copper, and that's now copper. Now copper is for everything. It doesn't matter. I have three items coming in and it doesn't matter where they are. So let's just wire it up or just hybrid up. Oh, hold on. Can I just do C? Oh, yes, I can. Can I do it again? No. All right. That was, uh, I did get rid of a lot of junk and that one's going to be the first one out. Yay. Let's see if I can get you out before without you breaking anything. That would be really nice. And let's get you back on the road where it's somewhat safe. Got it. Time to wire this up. And here they are. This looks beautiful, this part where they just fly in different sides. And it actually balances pretty well the distance. And does it work then? Let's take a look at the first one. Yes, the first ones are coming out. And we now have pure copper coming out. And I'm using a hell of a lot of yellow inserters because there's no point in using anything better than yellow inserters at this point. You can see here it is not a full. It should be about 36. No. 24 out of 26 is able. And they'll just keep pushing in here. Actually, this is... Actually, this shouldn't they be... They should be enabled when it's less than 1,000. Yes. Okay. So as soon as this one hits 1,000, which it not won't really do anytime soon, but when it hits 1,000, then it will stop. Great. And then any excess will come from here. I think that's a good idea, and I think it works. That was pretty damn easy. I did not expect this to be so easy, because we are going to make one more, which is going to be for the iron, which will be pretty much the same principle. It's here. There's a very, very small difference. So I'm just going to take exactly the same again and hope I have enough materials in my... Let's have a look at the other part here. Yep, there you go. All right, this is still not jamming because all of this can consume... Yeah, this can consume everything. This is stalling. Ah, okay, so this is the one that's being filled up. The, this warehouse. This warehouse needs to go all the way to 153. That's gonna be a while, but it's the there's no complaining here. No complaining about that. And all of them just to be nice and neat here. And again, these need to be changed to in this case iron, which is crushed sapphire, crushed chivalite, and mineral. There. It's a silly idea to go around just fixing a few of them when I know that all of them need to be fixed afterwards or later on. Now, what I need to do though is kind of here. This is. Hmm. All right, I guess I could do this for now, but this is not an efficient one because it's only 150. And the reason why it's 150 is because I do not have, oh, hold on. The more efficient iron requires limestone and I do not have a limestone, limestone production facility. I could make that out here maybe. That could be something like lime and limestone. And that's the lime. That's so much crap here. Uh, then it's under the water plant. There. Lime and limestone. There. It could come from here. And then be fed into... That one. Eventually. Eventually this will become... Iron ingots. But right now I'm just going to suffice with what I have. Now let's see. How are we going to do this most efficiently? I suppose we can... 
We're gonna kill this one for sure. That's absolutely guaranteed. So I'm gonna get something in here that's gonna be one, two, three, four. And I'm gonna have a bit of issue over here, but that's okay. So what am I going to have here? That's clearly not working. That's not feasible either. It's also only three, so... I... I think this could be done better. I think I'd like to get this maybe just a bit out from under. What is that one doing? That seems kind of incorrect. Copy, paste, paste, paste. Let's get a small, nope, no small ones. Three, three in. Got it. These are going to only work when iron is less than 1000. Which means this one will only top up and not do anything else. There. Okay. That's not a lot, but it should now be ready at the other location. Ah, I'm running out of everything now. Wonder if I have more. I should be having more from here. Yep, thank you. And these are not going to be here. Because I don't want this to be a stockpile. I only want the stockpile to be in one location. That's the other location. Basically, I don't want to produce this unless I have to. And if I have to, it's still only going to be... Well, it's it's going to be overscaling what I can consume at this point. So when this is running full tilt, it'll actually overproduce. Because this will produce four red lanes out, or at least almost four lane, red lanes out. And this is where we're going to change it to iron. Iron, iron... I think all of them are correct now. There. Okay, let's get you out. Back up, back up, back up. I'm starting to learn which way is front and back. And I guess since there are no warnings here, that means everything is working. Let's wire it up and see what happens. Yep. First, shift C. I mean, if I can get rid of some, then why not? See it looks beautiful again. Just keep going and let me just make sure that all of them are spinning. They're all spinning. Spinning, 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 spinning. It's starting to spin as well. Spinning. You're not spinning. Okay, but you are. 
I just want to make sure if I if I accidentally forgot one. So this one will saturate at some point, but it's now using a ton of materials. Wow, look at this. This is going down. And once it goes down, then it'll start stuttering. Look at the stuttering here that happens. This is pretty cool. So because it bounces. And the iron is now coming in. This one, however, will be able to stockpile because this should be more than four lanes or three four lanes out. Let's see. If, let's have a look. No, not quite. It isn't actually. What about the other here? All right. Finally, this one has stalled. And this is, yeah, it's, it's getting there. What about here? Okay, 131. So it'll soon be completely jammed and then this will stop. And do we see some stuttering here? Yeah, the stuttering is moving closer. And of course it has already taken effect here, which means it's slowing down things like this. It does not, well, it's actually the, that's interesting. It's interesting to see if it can keep up with the mineralized catalyst, but it seems to be able to actually slowly grow upwards here. That's good. And this lane is pretty good and it is now stockpiling. Excellent. This is exactly what I wanted to see. What should happen then is the iron goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, goes up, and it's stalled. <laughs> Why does it stall here? Uh, this part shouldn't be stalling. Yeah, they're working diligently, but that's still only one fourth of it. One fourth of what goes in is going to be consumed by manganese. So the manganese is moving very slowly, but it is moving, which means if I think correctly, this is increasing. Why are you increasing? Oh, right. Or right, right. that's for this one. It's now stuck at around 100, but I'm just a bit puzzled why this is not moving. Let's go have a look. Ah, now it is. Okay, so this was overscaled by some amount. Yeah. <clears throat> Funny how it's oh it, it. Interesting why this one can't be in there. Oh, it might be because the next one to pick up for each one is iron. No. Oh yeah, it, it must be iron. Which again means this is just pushing through, but why is nothing happening? Okay, so here it is happening. And then it needs to go all the way down before a single iron can be picked up. That means this needs to go below 1800, so it gets an iron stack in. Wish you could reserve the right? You can't. No. No middle button button clicking here. But if I go back now, I should also be seeing down here that it is well uh, not quite. Alright, this is stockpiling. This is stockpiling, they're all stockpiling here. What about you? You're not stockpiling yet. You are not all stockpiling yet either. But the first one is. This one is. The other ones are not, but this is this is pretty good. So we now have Lots of iron, lots of copper going in here to top it up so that I get a much more balanced balanced amount. And this goes up here, the iron is not being consumed. And then the next thing we could do, we could of course always build this better, but right now I feel this is really good. And the next things we're going to work on, not the next in the series, but in terms of the smelting, but that's not going to be right now, so do not fear. Might be something like aluminium and gold. I think actually aluminium would be, be the next one to uh, to get. Titanium could be the next. Uh, and then we're also going to look into some of the concrete stuff. But now I believe the next part is actually rebuilding our main base in terms of uh, building something up here like a big mall and basically just a big base that does awesome stuff. And what I'm really keen on is building fast. Oh, one thing that we're missing. We're missing our uh, wood production because we have a lot nice wood production down here. Let's actually see. This is not really a big uh, problem. It is. This one is rock steady. That one, I don't know what's the purpose of that. But this. 
It's pretty much capped out. There's 25 in each. Plus something here. So that means... Yeah, 25. So each of these are capped. For sure. And... Then this one is... 76, which is half the normal 53. And that's what I have here. Cool. That makes sense. So this is actually jammed. This is as big as it can get. That's also why we see full belts here. Alright, but the question could then be, should I get some of this, some of the wood moved by train maybe, up to be part of it? Because if I look at what will be happening next, I'll be working on my signs. For example, here, this requires basic circuit boards. Basic circuit boards comes from here, or you can get it from phenolic boards, which again can come from wood. So if I have wood, I can get started on pretty much all of it in the section of fiberglass boards. But there we need gold as well. We don't have the gold yet. That's something we're gonna have to do. Also, science-wise, up to and including science pack three, it's only really batteries, engine units, and then we have to do them some bronze. Bronze is built from modern bronze. Obviously, modern bronze, but bronze comes from copper and tin. We do have copper, we do have tin, so what seems to be the problem then? And some more advanced ones and some even more advanced ones. But the copper and tin is definitely where we're going to build some bronze, which I think we're going to need moving forward. Brass is coming from what? Come from copper and zinc or copper, tin and zinc. But that means we need zinc for that. But not really gonna happen in time zone. I don't really recall if brass, where the brass is being used for. Brass X, brass chest, brass gear. Yeah, see, these are the ones. The brass gears, they are for Mark III assemblers. That means brass and aluminium, aluminium are the key ingredients moving forward. What about, uh, Bronze, what is that used for? Fast loaders and science pack, three. So that means we can't really get the brass before we get some zinc. And just to glance at it, be not that we are going to dive into it now, but let's have a look at the zinc. The zinc is zinc ore, give, need some oxygen and then some molten lead, which is just a catalyst. It's easy as it's pretty easy. This one's also good. It also gives more sulfuric acid, also sulfur dioxide. It's pretty good. And yeah, made into zinc, not zinc plate, just zinc and gets That's easy. The way we can just make, uh, don't know what, don't know where we want to build this, but we definitely need to also move out to the side. This here could be aluminium, because that's going to be one of the next one. Oops. Uh, nope. Aluminium here. And this one could be ore, for example. And on this side, I could get something that only has... That could be brass. 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 Uh, where is it? Oh, that's here. Bronze, that was what I want. And I could, for example, with this one, try to get some zinc ore. But then that's, the, that's actually the part I wanted to see was the zinc ore. There, comes from various recipes. I wanna only look at the pure one. This is a nice one actually, isn't it? No, well, it's not. Where's the pure one? That's the pure one. So I need geolite chunks and bubmonium chunks. So that's what um, what will be what will be in the not so distant future. It's not going to be the next time, but it's going to be in the not so distant future. Let's have a look at all of this being built. Let's see, just to wrap up this. This looks good. This is stockpiling quite quite well. This one up here is pretty much almost at six hundred thousand steel plates, and if we could beacon it, it would be even more. Here, this one should actually be changed so that it is this and 
there that's going to be much more representative and what about here this one is stuck fine because I'm waiting for something coming outbound this is not outbound because the only place that uses tin is going to be here and that is stuck because of lack of ah lack of lead and the lack of lead is coming I am sure of it because this is now getting still being completely full I'm getting so many barrels of sulfur dioxide or sulfuric acid. I don't think I need sulfur, sulfuric acid in these quantities, but it's just from my C block series. I was a bit concerned about suddenly running out of, of sulfuric acid, and therefore I just decided, all right, I'm going to panic a bit and just build a ton of them. It's going to be too much because it's 7,600, 7,600, and another 2,000. What's that? That's 15, 17,000 barrels, and each one is 50, so that's 34. No, that's 85,000, 850,000, oh, yeah, 850,000 sulfuric acid. That might be pretty much okay combined with what I already have stored here. Okay, that's not actually that much. So maybe I'll just move some of it down there. Anyway, we are going to wrap it up. Let's uh, have an overview of the base as we do that. Uh, the base is running really really well at this point it's not really producing something so now the next part is going to scale up all the stuff that we are going to consume all of the materials that's going to be really interesting so check back next time when we start building the next tier of the base where we are going to consume all of the plates we've now constructed thank you very much for joining hope to see you next time bye